One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. Sit your bottoms on the floor. Sit your bottoms on the floor. Five and six and seven and eight. Five and six and seven and eight. Hands in your laps and sit up straight. Hands in your laps and sit up straight. One, two. One, two. Three, four. Three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. Three, four. In today's message, I wanted to uh, give you guys some words that we're going to be seeing in today's message. And I'm going to ask someone to come up and point out the word have for me. And we're going to movie star kiss that word have, okay? Can you come up, Shamira, and point to the word have? Everybody see that? So that's the word that we're going to movie star kiss. Thank you, Shamira. Are you ready? H A V E have. Okay, Jayliani, could you grab this? And we're going to movie star kiss the word you. Everybody see that word you? We're going to movie star kiss that one. Thank you, Jayliani. Ready? Go. Y-O-U-U. Okay, so these are our high frequency words. So you're going to see those in my message today, okay? Two other words that you're going to see in our message that you might not know what they mean or what they say are right here. The first one is petrified. Can everybody say that word for me? Petrified. Petrified means to be scared of something. Scared. Okay. Another word is departed. Can you say that for me? Departed. Okay. Departed means to leave. Okay. All right. So look for those words in our message. When I was thinking about what I wanted to write for you guys today, I wanted to reference a book that we read recently, Claudette. Now, in Claudette, we saw that the author used a lot of juicy temporal words. Now, we use temporal words such as first, next, and last in our writing, but we want to take it a step further, okay? Because as writers, sometimes we look to other authors to show us how we can do that. So one of the things that the author of Claudette did was instead of using the simple uh, temporal words, he used words such as once in a while, On this page, he has once in a while. He also used pretty soon. So these are temporal words that show time passing that are juicier than the usual ones we use. So I'm going to be writing about a picnic that I did this weekend that I went on with my little brother. And in my message, you're going to see some juicy temporal words. So can you guys be on the lookout for those? Okay. So let's get started. I want really nice, strong voices when I'm writing my message. Are we ready? Yeah. Okay. Very nice. And I have to come over here because I ran out of space. Okay, that's the end of my sentence. So we're going to reread this. Over the weekend, I had a picnic. Very nice. have a TH. What does the TH sound make? Very good. I'm at the end of my line again. What's this say? Here's that word. Go ahead. We're going to reread this message, okay? Over the weekend, I had a picnic. Suddenly, I heard thunder, and I was petrified. Petrified? It is my brain. Nice. 
it's reading. All right, Shamira, could you come up here, please?